at that. Does it suit me? Isn't that cool? Silver sparkle with the uh, shallow bowl back. Kind of like an ovation, but it's not an ovation. It's a daisy rock guitar. And uh, these aren't toys. These are actually really well built. And um, I'm not quite sure what the wood is on this, um, but it does have rosewood board and bridge and nice sort of little star inlays. Uh, it's, the neck on this is actually really nice. It's a, a mahogany red stain neck, satin finish. Um, the frets and board on this are really good. You would think this is a toy, like a Disney guitar or something, but it's not. It actually plays really well. And I got a, a bunch of these um, in various conditions, really cheap. And uh, this one's the first one I pulled out and I set it up. Needed quite a lot of fret work, but I've got it playing really well. So if anybody's interested in something like that for a kid or a stage show or <laughs> to hang on your wall, uh, message me because I've got a few of these. And they all look pretty good. I think I can make decent guitars out of them. Um, so this is the uh, DR2620 6206AU by Daisy Rock. And I, I'm not sure if they're affiliated with Luna or not. I'll have to check on that. But uh, definitely the same aesthetic. These are guitars made for girls is I think their uh, tagline. Although I bet there's a few guys that would like one of these. Uh, whenever I have like these... Uh, pink, purple, silver, gold, sparkly guitars. It's not always um, women that come looking for them. Sometimes it's uh, guys too. Um, whether it's, you know, something for their stage show or they're drawn to uh, sparkly guitars, I don't know. It doesn't necessarily have, this doesn't have to go to a 13 year old girl, though it probably will. Um, so that's the uh, silver sparkle version. And I also have here uh, a really nice purple flamed. I think this is the Pixie Plum. I think that's what they call it. You can't really see in the picture, but it's actually really nice flamed, book match flame top. The same sort of bowl back. And this one's got uh, uh, preamp and electronics in it. There's the uh, headstock. And these are really nice guitars. I mean, these are on sale at Amazon right now, I think for about 275 and sometimes as high as 325 So they're not junk, it's not a toy, it's actually a, a really nice, nicely made guitar. Um, slightly smaller scale with uh, um, not quite a parlor uh, body, probably between a parlor and a concert, like a, a double O size, uh, perhaps with a little bit wider button belt there. But um, these are really nice. This is one of a few I got of these, and this is the cleanest. The other ones I've got like dings and crack lacquer, and I'll have to see what I can do with them. But um, this one's clean. Uh, and I believe that the silver one actually goes for about $1.99 on Amazon. So we're not talking junky toy guitars here, even though they look a bit in that realm. Uh, these are really nicely made. Uh, and they sound fairly decent. I'm not a big bowl back fan, but this one's out of tune. And there's one criticism I have, which is on a lot of these uh, guitars with preamps built in, is when you play it acoustically, you can hear a slight rattle, and I think it's because of the harness inside. I've checked, double checked. Uh, the saddle, the nut, uh, the frets, everything's good. It's got a slight, if I do this and then play, it's gone. <laughs> so it's the, the wiring harness that you hear sometimes um, rattling when you play it. But when you plug it in and play, it sounds great. And this is a really nice pixie plum uh, flame maple top uh, daisy rock guitar. And this is the DR6222. AU. So slightly different model numbers, but the same principle. This one's uh, got electronics on it. And I think I've got a couple of pink ones, um, just plain acoustics coming, and I'll show you those when they when they arrive. Um, but you know, these were sort of blown out. They have various problems. And uh, after getting the first two out of the box, I think I can make good guitars out of these and, and uh, uh, find happy owners. So there you go, Daisy Rock. The first time I've had their guitars, I've seen them out and about and I've heard good things about them. 
Um, and it's true. They are, they are not toys. They're actually nicely made, well-built well -built guitars with good parts. Um, and uh, they sound pretty decent. Could be for you. Could be. All right. See you next time.